Governor Jim Justice has declared a state of emergency for Ohio County just hours ago. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 10. I'm Rebecca Little. This comes after the severe storm ripped through parts of the valley Monday night, bringing along flash flooding, down trees and power lines and leaving thousands without power. 7 News reporter Leah Keller joins us live in the 7 News studio with a closer look at the damage and how state leaders are responding. Aaliyah. Rebecca, the governor is sending help to Ohio County for those especially hit hard. One willing woman I spoke to is still affected by the storm after three trees fell over, hitting her house and car. And now she and many others are left to pick up the pieces. Two nights after the storm hit, power lines are still down and wheeling. Fallen trees have blocked roads, smashing cars and houses in its path. Just up the road from Oakmont Road lives Brianna Grady, who was home that night. Didn't think it was even real, to be honest. Grady fell asleep to one of her favorite shows like any other night, but hours later, a loud bang suddenly woke her and her daughter up. I just screamed. It woke me up out of dead sleep. Only to be surprised by a tree that tumbled on her house. When the flashing of the lightning hit, we could see trees. I was like, oh my God, a tree fell on my house. And she watched as the storm quickly picked up. The sky was blood red. There was lightning everywhere, St like wind blowing, crazy noises. I thought I was in the middle of a Stranger Things episode, like a, like a nightmare. As the storm intensified, the 70 mile per hour wind blew two more trees in her yard over, tearing off part of her porch and crushing her fence. Grady's windows also blew out and her car totaled. No electricity, don't have a car right now. It's been hard. Many more homes like Grady's have been hit hard. That's why Governor Jim Justice is sending help Ohio County's way. Anything like this that happens, we're on it and we're going to come running to the situation. We're going to put all the resources that we have and, and, you know, into trying to take care of these folks. The governor has directed the West Virginia National Guard and the West Virginia Emergency Management Division to begin the cleanup process. He's already sent a liaison officer to help assess damage in Ohio County. And tomorrow, guardsmen will help remove debris and down trees. And if anyone needs it, the governor says help is there. But if you have an issue, contact your county emergency manager and, uh, and, and, and we'll go from there. The state of emergency will be in effect for the next 30 days unless something changes. Live in the 7 News studio, Aaliyah Keller working for you. Rebecca.